<laughs> hey guys, today we are not only going to be talking about the return of Lady Dragon, but also new spoilers and teasers that we have received over the past couple of days. And guys, I am so excited. So with that being said, as always, before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. Now, let's get into it. So firstly, I want to talk about the new spoilers and or teasers that we got today from a post that at I am Linda Lee Rose shared on her Instagram. In the video, we see concept art of characters and things that will be appearing and have appeared in this season. And the first one being our first ever Psychomedian spoiler, where we get to take a look at not only the akumatized villain's appearance, but also the person who's going to be akumatized. Now this is concept art, so the design might not be the exact way that we see it in this image. But if you look at the art next to Psychomedian when they are in their civilian form, above says Harry Clown. However, this character is actually based off of Frank, an actor, and if we take a look towards the right of the image, below all the masks with the different facial expressions, you'll see what says piece of paper. And considering this is based off of an actor, I'm curious if it could be that we could see Andre in this episode, and most likely that piece of paper will hold the Akuma in the episode. But moving on, this was another teaser that we had received and Miraculous Mexico had actually confirmed on Twitter it was a possible design for Ladybug's level up, but it didn't stick around. So while it was discarded, it's still so beautiful. I mean, just look at the space buns, the gold belt, the gold on her sleeves, and the beautiful long red ribbons. Now, this next image had a lot. And so starting from the top left, you see Ladybug bug with her yo-yo. But as you can see, it's extended out, kind of to appear like a staff. Could this be another power upgrade in which we see Ladybug get this season? Or maybe it's discarded concept art? And moving on to the right, we see this pink thing. And honestly, it's hard to tell what it is. My first thought is that this could have to do with Polly Mouse, as we see her just below the previous image. But it also kind of looks like a perfume bottle. But at the same time, it's giving me princess fragrance energy. But ultimately, I don't know what that could be. Moving to the right again, although blurry, I believe this was the concept art for Lady B, below the one for Pigella, and on the left, this, I don't know. Because yes, it's red, but look at the shape of the hair. That doesn't look like Ladybug's hair. For some reason, something is telling me that this is Alia. And the only reason being because if you look really closely at the hair and the shape of it, it kind of looks brown and then kind of goes to orangey red. Again, I really have no clue about that spoiler image. Moving to the left again, we see Polly mouse and just below this there has been no confirmation that this is who i think it is but i think this is nathaniel with the rooster miraculous the color scheme the orange hair could we see him getting his miraculous this season and lastly moving to the right this looks like cat noir Again, I know it's blurry, but you can kind of visualize it with the blonde hair, the black suit, and what looks to be like a black tail coming from behind him. Is this possible concept art for when he gets a power upgrade? Either way, I am so excited. We are only halfway through this season. And guys, if you thought this season was crazy, season 5 is going to be even crazier. But the next spoiler image, we see Ladybug back to back with Pixie Girl, which is a character that we've seen before on Jeremy's Instagram, as well as even Zag merch and bags and boxes. So could this mean that we will be seeing her sometime in the future of Miraculous? Now in this next spoiler image, we see Queen Bee with these beautiful neon wings. And at first I was like, hold on, is Queen Bee coming back? But at ways underscore world on Instagram had confirmed that these were just designs for Miraculous toys to come, which does make sense considering I do have the action figures. And from what we've seen for Cat Noir's action figure and Rena Rouge, the things you see sketched in these images do come with their action figures. So with that being said, I doubt this will have to do with Chloe in the future, but just with future miraculous toys. And so the next teaser that we got was actually revealed by Ezra on his TikTok live when somebody had asked him, what is your favorite episode of season four? When he responded by saying, I'll tell you this, it's a featuring a character that I voice. 
Uh, in other words, it's a character that I, I mean, it's not a new character that I voice. It's one that if you know my credits, it's one that I already voice. Um, but I'm not gonna let you know which one. And at first I thought he was talking about Wishmaker because if you didn't know, as for voices, Mr. Banana and or the cucumber that we see in Wishmaker. But at the time he was filming this live, Wishmaker had already aired and he was aware of that. So if he's talking about a future episode this season, a character that I actually think he could be talking about is Andre. And the reason being because I feel like we have been seeing him quite a bit this season and or just a lot of other ice cream this season. Now of course Ezra voices multiple characters in Miraculous, but considering we've seen so many things and scenes having to do with the ice creams, I feel like there's a good chance we could see an episode that focuses on Andre, where he possibly gets akumatized again, and ultimately gets a magical charm. And now this next bit of info I had got when I was on an Instagram live that Christina was a part of, and when she was asked about how many seasons they were into, she went to say, how many seasons are you guys in two now? Oh goodness. Is this season four? We're, we're over yeah. definitely over a hundred episodes. So although we're not getting new episodes right now, and we haven't gotten any really new spoilers from Gloob or Disney USA, they are continuing to dub episodes and episodes continue to be in the works. As we've yet to reach the 100th episode mark so far this season, as the farthest episode we've gotten to throughout this season, season 4, is episode 18, Wishmaker. And mind you, there's still episodes in between that we're missing. Even PV Editor, which if you didn't know, he creates the trailers that Gloob shares with us for new episodes. He even shared this on his story the other day, showing that he's working on new trailers. So with that being said, we don't have any information on when new episodes are going to come or what episodes they're going to be. But from all those teasers and spoilers, I am so, so excited. And guys, seeing this the other day from Jeremy's Instagram made my day. And if you read the caption, he goes, I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the Lady Dragon TV series. Lady Dragon TV series? Now, apparently this has been known about for a while. At Chikara YT on Twitter had actually tweeted about Jeremy's recent Instagram post and said about the post from Jeremy's Instagram, it was confirmed by licensing Russia that separate spin-offs are also planning for Miss Rose, after the London special and Lady Lion after the Africa special. Actually, it was confirmed on the same day they confirmed season 6 and season 7. So that means moving forward that these characters that are coming from the future specials are going to get their own spin-off series. Unfortunately, this won't be applying to Jess and Ion from the New York special, but like I said, moving forward, characters such as Lady Dragon and so on are going to be getting their own spin-offs. But you guys, what what do you think? Like I've said countless times, I am just so excited, not only for the rest of this season, but season 5, the Awakening movie, new specials to come next year, everything. As always, be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one.